Hey everyone. <clears throat> so I've told a lot of people about Boxy and uh, trying to explain it um, uh, exactly what it is. I, I, don't, I don't know if that's coming off very well. So I'm just going to show you what it is and uh, why I'm so excited about this thing. Uh, this is my TD. I have my uh, MacBook hooked. This is how it works for me. My MacBook gets hooked up underneath there. And uh, I've just got this, this old uh, sandwich board um, that's kind of like my desk here. Um, and uh, I know that, that that contrast is messing with the, the light in here, but I'm uh, messing with the camera. But uh, So I'm going to launch uh, Boxy. Um, there we go. And when I switch to Boxy, it actually uses the little Mac remote that came with my MacBook um, instead of uh, the keyboard and the mouse. So I can use um, like the mouse if I want. It actually doesn't work with the keyboard, um, but, uh, but that's okay. This is kind of like TV, right? I mean, all these these uh, guides and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to show you everything. Uh, I'm frankly, I'm not excited about everything. But you know, I can view my photos and I can play my music, and I've got stuff for that. Um, so that's okay with me. But um, the thing that's really exciting me about this is that it's aggregating media from the internet and it's delivering it to me in this easy to use package, rather than me going out there and having to track down and find all this stuff. So, um, now, movies, if I have some on my laptop, I can play them. I don't, so I'm, I'm going to skip right over that. But the stuff that's really cool, and some of this you can see is being suggested. Some of this is, you know, a feed from Boxy. Some of it's what's featured. And there is some commercial-type stuff here. I mean, Wolfman, obviously, they paid uh, Boxy to put that in my little featured queue, and that's, that's fine. Um, but if I go to TV shows here, and um, I don't have any TV shows on my, on my laptop, but I'm going to go to the TV show library. And I'm going to close this sidebar. And I'm browsing um, TV shows that are available to view on the internet. Now, some of this is coming from Hulu or uh, from the uh, network's websites, like The Office is coming from NBC.com as well as Hulu, uh, things like that. And I can scroll through. I can find a TV show that I'm interested in watching and, um, and just fire it right up. So, you know, I mean, yeah, we've got the Colbert Report. Um, you know, and when I click on it, so here are all the episodes of the Colbert Report that I can just um, fire right up and, and start watching here, and uh, or clips. So actually, I'm thinking this is probably from Hulu. I haven't watched it. I have no idea. Uh, you know, I haven't seen Caprica yet. I'm going to check this out. So I'm going to fire up the pilot. Um, I get a little pop-up here. It tells me where it's coming from, sci-fi. It is ad-supported, so I know that I'm going to have some commercials here. Sometimes they don't, um, and, I, and I can just watch it as though I, I own it or something. Um... I think the kids next door are actually uh, playing video games or something, so we'll see how quickly this loads. It's buffering right now. Um, this is not downloading the content to my laptop. This is streaming. So it's like I'm watching it through Hulu. In fact, you know, in some cases I am actually watching it through Hulu here. But, um, and a lot of this stuff is in high def. You won't be able to see it with the quality of the camera um, and then the quality of the video once I've converted it to, um, to YouTube size. But uh, it actually looks very nice um, on my TV. Uh, this is a 49-inch uh, Vizio. And this video right now on my TV is gorgeous. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It's as though I'm watching the original broadcast. Uh, some of it, you know, when you blow it up um, to this size, you lose some of the quality. Uh, I think that's enough uh, for you to get the picture here. Um, uh, you know, I've got this, these menu options. It's kind of like viewing on a DVR, right? I can, I can fast forward, I can skip, I can move to next chapters. And I can even, uh, I can share, I can get more information, and then there's a variety of settings that I can use in it. The share, I think, only works with uh, the boxy sort of network, but um, I'm interested to see if this can be, uh, you know, if I can do more with this Facebook and Twitter and so forth. I just haven't looked into it yet. I'm going to hit stop and we'll exit out of this here. So that's TV shows, and they're, they're really very cool. Um, you know, a, a cool new way to sort of consume this stuff as, you know, Hulu is becoming very popular. Um, this is actually leaps and bounds above that. Um, and then the other thing that I'm really stoked about is these apps here. And these apps are very similar. Some of them are bringing in TV shows. Some of them is just aggregating, um, you know, what you would sort of expect, like YouTube or Revision 3, um, Internet Television, uh, you know, for you to watch here. But some of it is just a variety of really interesting, um, or Netflix, right? So I've got my PS3 that I've been watching my, my Netflix streaming, but I can watch it here now, and I probably will. Um, Pandora, I've got a Pandora account. But some of the stuff that's really impressing me, like the big picture, this is actually, um, this is the big picture from Boston.com. 
and um, these are uh, photo slideshows, right? So I can consume them on my TV instead of, um, and you know, this is really cool, instead of going to the website um, or listen to, you know, music or whatever it might be. Um, but some of the stuff that's really just kind of cool is like this, we are hunted. I, I believe they got a website too, obviously, but, but just sort of consuming this type of content in this fashion to me is just really interesting. This, the whole purpose of this thing here is they are data mining, uh, Twitter and Facebook and all this stuff to see what music people are talking about. So rather than, you know, going to the billboard charts to see what's popular, um, this is just, this is what's popular right now based on what people are talking about. And this is actually around the world. So this particular one here is some of this music is a bit out there. Um, I found if I go to the Twitter chart, this is a bit more U.S. centric. So um, the most popular 99 songs based on what people are talking about on Twitter in the last 24 hours. And here they are. And this is really kind of cool. So like the number one song, Lady Gaga. And I just hit play here and it's going to go fetch me the song. It's got the little picture and name and so forth. And there you go. And it just starts playing this this music for me. And um, you can hear it playing there. This is just really, really very, very cool. I'm going to stop that because um, we've all heard the song. Um, CNN, these are all the videos from the CNN website. And instead of me going to the website and watching them in that uh, manner, I can come here and play these CNN videos um, as though sort of I'm watching them on CNN.com. And there's actually another app. Uh, that I found that allows me to sort of turn the CNN live feed on my TV as well. Oh, I guess this is some kind of video of a time-lapse um, snowing thing. But uh, this is, you know, it's full screen. It looks beautiful on my TV. And uh, and it's very, uh, in, in my opinion, very impressive. Uh, I'm going to hit stop and, and come out of here. Um, you know, if you've got a Flickr account, um, Clicker What's Online is sort of another type of aggregator. Actually, this is the one that brings in the CNN live. Um, but this is this is stuff that's that's very popular from around the website. So it's a different way that I can that I can look for that stuff. Popular movies and some of this like this is from Netflix, right? So this is the streaming online thing that I've already got, but it's bringing it in to a different wrapper and presenting it in a different and unique way for me to consume this media. Um, MLB TV, Last FM, Facebook Photos. This is really neat. I've got a Facebook. We've all got a Facebook account. This is going to, it's accessing my Facebook account and it's bringing up my friends and it's just going to access their photos. So like here's Danny, I know she's got tons of photos and uh, it's just going to pull up her photos and allow me to view them um, on the TV. And actually, you know, I tried this a little while ago and it pulled it up, no problem. And then I had problems loading stuff. As I said, I think the kids next door might be playing video games. Anyways, you, you've all seen what pictures look like, so you get the point. Uh, and there's lots and lots of really neat, uh, neat kind of unique things here. And uh, this is all I've experimented with so far. But these, like this, for instance, these are high definition podcasts that Google is aggregating. And then this particular application is pulling them in for me to be able to watch them on um, uh, on the Boxy software. This is it's called Birds Rule on Jutten Island. It's some kind of documentary thing, but it's um, it's in high definition. This is, it's stunning. This is, I, look, look how quick that day. was. And, and it just took me a second to pull this up. This is like watching TV, you know? I mean, this is like it came right off my DVR. Um, I don't have any idea what this thing actually is. And I don't really care right now, but um, I'll go back here. Uh, I want to look at the... So, and there's an app library. So, you know, if those apps that I just uh, streamed, you know, flipped through didn't look all that interesting to you, there is tons and tons and tons of stuff here, uh, stuff for everybody. Like this ABC7 News, um, that's local news for like San Francisco or something. I, so I need to look and see if I can find, you know, my local news on here. Um, Showtime podcasts and, and, you know, and all this other stuff. I and mean, this is just absolutely uh, very, very cool. The Associated Press is on here and, uh, um, you know, CNET, and, uh, you know, all this really cool, 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 cool stuff. Um, so there you have it. That's boxy. Um, I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to get too much more stuff going on there, but you, you get the general point and the reason why I'm so excited. This thing is very, very cool. So uh, go get it and install it and check it out. Thanks.